Catherine Dinner, the French actress, is known for her mystery and wit. She has a sharp tongue and a quick mind, often speaking so fast that it's as if she's throwing words at you. Yet, despite her directness, she values her privacy. It's a strange combination, but that's what makes her unique. Dennerf once said, Mystery is when you talk a lot, but there are still things that are more complex than words that can't be expressed. This sums her up perfectly. She can be open and direct, yet there's always a sense of mystery about her. Despite her fame, Dennerf remains private. She doesn't share much about her personal life, preferring to let her work speak for itself. This privacy, combined with her humor, appetite for life, and rebellious spirit, makes her a fascinating figure. Denner's career is filled with classic films and performances that have stood the test of time. Her work continues to resonate, intriguing new generations of fans. She's a testament to the enduring appeal of a true film icon. Catherine Denner was born on October 22, 1943, in the heart of Paris, France. She was the third of four daughters born to stage actors Maurice Dorliac and René Denner, making her part of a family deeply rooted in the world of performing arts. Of her three sisters, Catherine was particularly close to Francois, who was only 19 months younger than her. The two sisters shared a bond that was almost inseparable, growing up together in a household where creativity and artistry were highly valued. The early years of Catherine Denner's life were marked by her close relationship with her sister Francois, as they navigated their way through a childhood filled with artistic influences and the vibrant energy of Paris. Catherine Denner's parents, known for their strict upbringing, sent their daughters to Catholic school. The actress, in her later years, acknowledged the strong moral foundation this education provided. However, as a child, Catherine had different aspirations. She dreamed of becoming anything but an actress. Her creative mind led her to consider careers as a graphic artist, interior designer, or even an archaeologist. The actress's diverse interests and ambitions show that her talents could have easily been applied in various fields had she not chosen the path of acting. Despite her initial reluctance, Catherine Denner became one of the most celebrated figures in the film industry, leaving a lasting impact on the world of cinema. Catherine Denner, the renowned French actress, began her acting journey out of curiosity rather than ambition. At the tender age of 16, she made her film debut in The Door Slam in the 1960s. Interestingly, it was her older sister, Francois, who found fame in the film industry first. This early exposure to the world of acting, thanks to her sister, may have subtly influenced Catherine's eventual career choice. The Door Slam, though a minor role for Catherine, marked the beginning of a journey that would lead her to become one of the most respected figures in French cinema. The influence of her sister Francois, who had already made a name for herself, might have sparked Catherine's interest and provided the initial push she needed to explore the world of acting. Catherine Denner, a shy teenager, found success quickly after meeting director Roger Vadim. Despite her initial indifference towards him, she left her parents' home to live with Vadim. To please him, she even dyed her hair blonde, which solidified her image as a blonde goddess in the film industry. As a young girl, Catherine led a quiet life in a Parisian suburb. She was known for her striking beauty, but was rather reserved and introverted. Her life took a dramatic turn when she met Roger Vadim a well-known director in the French film industry. At first, Catherine was not particularly interested in Vadim, but he saw something special in her. He offered her a role in his upcoming film, The Love Game, and Catherine accepted. This encounter marked the beginning of a significant turning point in her life. Catherine left her parents' home to live with Vadim, who became her mentor and lover. Under his guidance, she began to explore the world of acting. To further cement her image as a blonde goddess, Vadim encouraged Catherine to dye her hair blonde, which became her signature look for many years. Catherine's new image and acting skills quickly gained attention in the film industry. She became a household name, and her success came quickly. Despite her initial shyness, Catherine embraced her newfound fame and continued to work in the industry for many years. In conclusion, Catherine Denner's success came quickly after her encounter with Roger Vadim. Her decision to leave her parents' home and dye her hair blonde to please him solidified her image as a blonde goddess in the film industry. Her story is a testament to the power of taking risks and embracing new opportunities. In 1963, the actress Catherine Denner took on a role in Roger Vadim's film Le Vice La Vertu, which unfortunately failed to impress critics and audiences alike. Many felt that her performance lacked depth and intensity, leaving much to be desired. However, this early setback did little to deter the young actress from pursuing her passion for acting. That same year, at the tender age of 19, 
Catherine found herself facing a significant personal challenge when she discovered she was pregnant with Vadim's child. Despite the difficulties that lay ahead, the actress made the courageous decision to keep the baby and raise him on her own. This choice would prove to be a defining moment in her life, shaping her identity as a strong and independent woman. Shortly after giving birth to her son, Christian Vadim, Catherine ended her relationship with his father. From then on, she dedicated herself fully to the task of raising her child as a single mother. Although this period was undoubtedly challenging, the actress refused to let it hold her back. Instead, she threw herself into her work, determined to build a successful career for herself and her family. Throughout these early years, Catherine remained steadfast in her pursuit of excellence, honing her craft, and refining her skills as an actress. Though she encountered obstacles along the way, her determination never wavered. With each passing day, she grew more confident in her abilities, becoming a formidable force in the world of cinema. And so, despite the initial disappointment of La Vie et la Vertu, and the challenges of single parenthood, Catherine emerged stronger than ever, ready to take on whatever came her way. Catherine Deneuve, the renowned French actress, found her real life beginning to mirror her art as she filmed the umbrellas of Cherbourg. In this classic, she portrayed a young girl who found herself in a loveless marriage, having been left pregnant. The experience of depicting such struggles on screen stirred a deep passion for acting within Catherine. As she delved into her roles, Catherine discovered a profound connection between her own emotions and those of the characters she played. This was especially true in The Umbrellas of Cherbourg, where she had to convey the complex feelings of a young woman facing unexpected motherhood and a broken heart. The process of bringing these characters to life, of navigating their challenges and desires, ignited a spark within Catherine. She found herself captivated by the power of storytelling and the ability of acting to bridge the gap between reality and fiction. This newfound passion led Catherine to explore a variety of roles throughout her career, each one offering a new opportunity to delve into the human experience and to express the depth and breadth of emotion that comes with it. Her dedication to her craft transformed her from a simple actress into a symbol of French cinema, a living testament to the transformative power of acting. Catherine's journey serves as a reminder of the potential for art to imitate life and for life to imitate art. Her passion for acting, ignited by her experiences on the set of The Umbrellas of Sherbert, became a driving force in her life, shaping her career and solidifying her place in the annals of film history. Catherine Denner's career reached new heights in 1967 when she starred in the film Belle de Jour. This classic role cemented her status as a movie star and fashion icon. The same year, however, was marked by personal tragedy. Denner's sister, Francois, died in a car accident. Despite this heart-wrenching loss, the actress continued working, perhaps using her continuous work as a way to cope with the pain. Belle de Jour tells the story of a young housewife who, seeking to escape the monotony of her life, begins secretly working in a brothel. Denner's portrayal of the complex character was met with critical acclaim and solidified her place as a leading lady in French cinema. The film, directed by Louis Buñuel, is known for its exploration of themes such as desire, fantasy, and the repression of women in society. Deneuve's performance brought depth and nuance to the character, making it one of her most memorable roles. In addition to her work in Belle du Jour, Deneuve's career has been marked by a string of iconic performances in films such as The Umbrellas of Sherbert and Repulsion. Her contributions to the world of cinema have left an indelible mark, and she continues to be a respected and admired figure in the industry. Throughout her career, Deneuve has faced both triumph and tragedy, but even in the face of personal loss, she has continued to work and create, leaving behind a body of work that continues to resonate with audiences today. Catherine Deneuve, the renowned French actress, had the privilege of collaborating with the Spanish director Luis Manuel in two iconic films, Belle du Jour and Tristana. In both productions, Deneuve portrayed innocent beauties who were exploited but eventually sought revenge. In Belle du Jour, Deneuve played the role of Severine, a respectable housewife who leads a secret life as a high-class prostitute. The film explores the themes of desire, fantasy, and societal expectations of women during the 1960s. Dinner's character eventually gains control over her life and finds her voice, making for a powerful and thought-provoking narrative. Following Belle de Jour, Dinner worked with Bunuel again in Tristana, a film that tells the story of a young woman who falls in love with her guardian but ultimately seeks revenge when she realizes his true intentions. Denner's portrayal of Tristana is a nuanced and complex one, showcasing her range as an actress 
and her ability to bring depth and humanity to her characters off-screen. Denerf was known for her pursuit of true love. She was pursued by many men, but finding lasting relationships proved challenging. Despite this, the actress remained hopeful and continued to seek a meaningful connection with someone who shared her values and interests. Throughout her career, Denerf has been a trailblazer for women in film, using her platform to challenge societal norms and expectations. Her collaborations with Bunuel are just one example of her willingness to take on complex and challenging roles, and her pursuit of true love is a testament to her resilience and determination. Catherine Denerf, the renowned French actress, tied the knot with English photographer David Bailey in 1965. However, their marriage was fraught with challenges due to their demanding careers and a significant language barrier. After seven years of marriage, the couple decided to part ways in 1972. Interestingly, around the same time, Denner found herself in a public affair with her married co-star, Marcello Mastroianni. This passionate relationship resulted in the birth of their daughter, Chiara, in 1972. Despite the controversy surrounding their relationship, the actress and the Italian star shared a deep connection, which was evident in their on-screen chemistry. Their affair was a significant event in the actress's life, marking a period of personal growth and transformation. The actress's relationship with Mastroianni was a testament to her ability to navigate complex relationships while maintaining her status as a leading figure in French cinema. Catherine Denerf, the renowned French actress, was rumored to have had an intimate relationship with acclaimed director Francois Truffaut during the 1960s. Their alleged affair ended on a sour note, leading to Truffaut experiencing a nervous breakdown. This tumultuous period in Denner's life remained shrouded in mystery, with neither party confirming nor denying the details surrounding their romantic involvement. As Denner continued her flourishing career in cinema, she ventured into another field where she would achieve even greater recognition, modeling. During the 1970s, the actress became the face of Chanel No. 5, one of the most iconic fragrances in the world. Her striking beauty graced billboards and magazines globally, making her synonymous with elegance and sophistication. The partnership between Denerf and Chanel proved beneficial for both parties. For the legendary fashion house, associating its product with the timeless allure of the actress helped solidify Chanel No. 5 as a symbol of luxury. Meanwhile, Denerf gained substantial financial rewards through lucrative endorsements linked to this campaign. Her collaboration with Chanel marked a significant turning point in the actress's professional journey, expanding her influence beyond films and into mainstream consumer culture. Even today, decades later, many still remember Denerf as the embodiment of class and style, thanks largely due to her successful stint as the muse for Chanel No. 5. Catherine Denerf has left an indelible mark on both the film industry and the fashion world. The actress first gained attention in the 1960s for her role in The Umbrellas of Cherbourg, which propelled her to international stardom. Her unique sense of style quickly caught the eye of designers and photographers, making her a muse for many fashion houses. One designer who took particular notice of Denner's chic aesthetic was Yves Saint Laurent. He created several iconic looks for the actress, including the famous safari jacket and tuxedo suit. These designs became instant classics, and helped define the modern working woman's wardrobe. Denerf also served as a model for St. Lawrence's groundbreaking Le Smoking campaign in the early 70s. Despite being known for her timeless elegance, the actress wasn't afraid to take risks when it came to fashion. She often mixed high-end pieces with more affordable items, creating a distinctly French approach to dressing. This eclectic style made her a trendsetter and inspired countless women around the world. Even as she entered her 60s, and beyond, Denerf remained a fixture in the fashion industry. She signed deals with brands like MAC Cosmetics and Louis Vuitton, continuing to influence contemporary styles while maintaining her status as a true fashion icon. Throughout her career, Denerf has balanced her love for acting with her passion for fashion. Over the years, she has appeared in numerous successful films, earning critical acclaim and awards along the way. From romantic comedies to dramas, the actress consistently delivers compelling performances that captivate audiences. Denner's ability to remain relevant and influential over decades speaks volumes about her talent and dedication. As one of France's most beloved stars, she continues to inspire aspiring actors and models alike, proving that age is just a number when it comes to success and personal style. Catherine Denner's talent as an actress was recognized early in her career, but it was her role in the 1980 film. 
the last metro that truly solidified her status as a French cinema icon. This classic drama earned her the prestigious Caesar Award for Best Actress, highlighting her exceptional acting skills. Throughout her career, the actress has showcased her versatility by taking on diverse roles that have captivated audiences worldwide. She has played the part of a seductive vampire in The Hunger, capturing the allure and danger of the supernatural creature. In Indochine, she portrayed a plantation owner grappling with the changing political landscape of colonial Vietnam, demonstrating her ability to tackle complex and nuanced characters. Denner's range as an actress is further exemplified in her portrayal of disillusioned women. In The Umbrellas of Sherbrooke, she starred as a young woman who must come to terms with an unplanned pregnancy and the harsh realities of love. In Belle du Jour, she played a respectable housewife who leads a secret life as a high-class prostitute, exploring themes of desire, fantasy, and societal expectations. These diverse roles have not only earned the actress critical acclaim, but have also endeared her to audiences who appreciate her ability to bring depth and complexity to each character she portrays. Catherine Denner's contributions to French cinema are a testament to her enduring talent and versatility as an actress. Her ability to captivate audiences and resonate with them across generations is a true mark of her impact on the world of film. Catherine Denner, now in her 80s, maintains a thriving career in the film industry. With an impressive resume spanning over 137 credits, she has become a beloved figure in cinema. Her beauty remains striking, continually inspiring the fashion world. This timeless allure adds to the mystery surrounding the actress, who values her privacy highly. Denner's decision to keep her personal life private stems from her belief that it respects other people's privacy and contributes to her enigmatic persona. She prefers to let her work speak for itself, rather than revealing intimate details about herself. By doing so, she preserves an air of mystique around her image. The actress's longevity in film can be attributed to her ability to adapt to various roles throughout her career. From her early days in French New Wave films like The Umbrellas of Sherbert to more recent projects, she consistently delivers captivating performances. Audiences continue to appreciate her talent, making her an in-demand performer even today. Despite being part of countless productions, each character portrayed by Denner retains its distinctiveness. Whether playing a regal queen, vulnerable woman, or aloof ice princess, she brings depth and authenticity to every role. These nuanced depictions have solidified her status as a cinematic icon. Moreover, Catherine Denner embodies elegance both on and off screen. Fashion designers often draw inspiration from her chic style, which exudes class and sophistication. Even at this stage in her life, she remains a muse for many creatives within the industry. To sum up, Catherine Denner's ongoing success in film can be credited to her remarkable acting skills, timeless beauty, and commitment to maintaining her privacy. Over the years, these qualities have made her one of the most intriguing figures in Hollywood, ensuring that audiences will always remain fascinated by this classic star. Catherine Denner, the renowned French actress, has always been known for her elegant and enigmatic persona. With a career spanning over five decades, she has captivated audiences with her humor and poise. Denner has often kept her personal life private, adding to the mystery that surrounds her. Throughout her career, Denner has been a part of many classic films that have left a mark in the world of cinema. Her performances are a testament to her talent and versatility as an actress. Despite her fame, she has managed to maintain a level of privacy that has only added to her allure. Denner's elegance extends beyond the screen and into her public appearances. She is known for her impeccable style and grace, which has made her a fashion icon. Yet, even with her status as a style icon, Denner remains humble and down to earth. Despite her fame, Denner has always been careful to keep her personal life private. She believes that her personal life is separate from her professional life and chooses to maintain this boundary. This has only added to her enigmatic persona, making her an even more intriguing figure. In conclusion, Catherine Denner's elegant and enigmatic persona has made her a beloved figure in the world of cinema. Her ability to maintain her privacy while still captivating audiences is a testament to her talent and poise. Denner's career and personal life are a tapestry of elegance, humor, and mystery, making her a true icon of French.